Hello everyone, it's Eric from Coffee, Beers, and Bowties. I'm here today to talk about a very, very controversial topic. You may be wondering what that is, right? Well, there are some people out there in the fashion industry who completely and utterly despise pre-tie bow ties. Some people are strictly self-tie bow ties. Well, we're here to talk about that a little bit. And once we're done, you guys can head on over to the forum. There will be a discussion board post in the forum. So we can talk about the differences between a self-tied bow tie and a pre-tied bow tie. So here in my hands, I have two bow ties as I just showed you. And they're very, very similar in, in pattern. So here I have a plaid pink and gray with some blue highlights, uh, self-tied bow tie. And then I have one pretty similar, it's predominantly gray with some, uh, some lighter grays and some pink tones in it. And I personally like them both. The bow tie that I have on today, as you can kind of see, is a self-tied bow tie. The reason why I like bow ties so much um, is that they definitely give your suit a, a different look, uh, a sense of elegance. And with anything that's professional, uh, there is a time for wearing bow ties and then there isn't, where if you're in a business uh, or executive uh, capacity, you definitely want to make sure that you're wearing a necktie, something that's suitable for the position that you're in. If you're out looking for a job and you're going on an interview, you definitely want to dress for the occasion with a nice dark suit, black, uh, grays, blues, with a nice necktie. Bow ties are a bit more fashionable. Some people tend in the professional space, tend to frown at, uh, at people who wear bow ties. So if you're out and you're looking for a job and you're looking to dress to impress, you definitely want to stick to the more traditional route and wear a, uh, a traditional necktie to go along with your to go along with your suit. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about the differences between a self tie bow tie and a pre-tie bow tie. Now I have them both. And the reason why um, I really switched over to mostly self-tied bow ties is because about maybe five, six years ago, a friend of ours got married in the Bronx over in New York. And so my wife's from New York and you know we we're having a good old time. Had an opportunity to head over to Macy's down on, uh, I think it's on 38th Street, the big Macy's where they have the Macy's Day parade and bought a really nice suit and figure I'll give my suit a little bit of flair and decided to buy a bow tie to go along with the suit and so we're at the at the wedding everything's just about to kick off and I'm standing inside the lobby and a young man approaches me it seems as though there was a another reception or another engagement taking place at the same time my wife's friend's wedding was taking place. The young man saw that I had a neck, had a bow tie on. He came over, he approached me, said, excuse me, sir. He said, can you help me? I said, well, what do you need? He said, can you help me with tie my bow tie? Now, I've always been a somewhat fashionable, you know, person, but up until that point, um, I, I just wore pre-tied bow ties. And I'm a little ashamed to say it, but I didn't know how to tie a self-tie bow tie. I always wore neckties and I always had, I had a few pre-tie bow ties. And so that left me a bit embarrassed that I couldn't help that young man out. And because of him, that really set me on uh, the momentum and set me in motion to really learn more about about bow ties, about fashion, and things of that nature. So um, if you are the type of person who enjoys you know, fashion and you 
like the authenticity of wearing a self-tie bow tie, then by all means. Now from an economical sense, you can go on some of your online sites and you can find self-tie bow ties and pre-tie bow ties for about the same price. Some of your higher end silk bow ties or fashionable bow ties, those are gonna run you around maybe 45, 50 bucks. But if you aren't looking to spend as much and you're really trying to get a collection started, starting out with pre-tie bow ties aren't that bad, especially for if you're a young person and you know money is, a, is of a tight crunch. So I think having a few pre-tie bow ties because there are a lot of fashion, there are a lot of designs that you can find with pre-tie bow ties that maybe you can't find with a self-tie bow tie. Now, you aren't supposed to, in my personal opinion, I say switch it up, you know, kind of mix your colors, but you don't want to stand out like a, sore thumb, like a sore thumb because you decided to pick the wrong tie to go with your, with your ensemble. So it's really important that you take some consideration into how you want to look and what it is you want to wear and the message that you're trying to that you're trying to get across. So there are different varieties. Obviously, there are even wooden bow ties you can get. You have cotton bow ties if you plan on wearing one with a more traditional cotton button-up shirt, or you know, again, for something a little bit more you know, fashionable with something like what I have on now and you want to get a silk one, you can definitely find different um, shopping uh, websites that have uh, uh, just a variety of choices. And again, like I said, they don't cost, uh, it doesn't cost a, a, a whole lot of money for either. So there's the question, which one are you? Are you a pre-tie bow tie person or are you a self-tie bow tie person? Me, myself, I like them both, but since that uh, encounter I had in New York about, uh, I think it was about maybe six, six or seven years ago, um, that really pushed me to really understand fashion and understand bow ties a little bit more. So I hope this video helped out a lot, uh, a little bit anyway, as far as information and I have a on this on this page I have a video on how to tie a bow tie so if you're curious and you want to learn and you want to increase your inventory of self tie bow ties check out that video and uh, I really appreciate you guys for watching but just as a note this and I'll post a picture along with this video of my wife and I at that wedding reception, but I'll always keep this bow tie. This is a reminder for me. This is the pre-tied bow tie that I bought for that wedding that I went to. A little small, you know, probably not my size necessarily. I think I wore it really well that day, but this was the bow tie that I had on and what triggered the young man. I just, I never thought about it. It never came to my mind to, you know, really take the time to learn how to tie a self-tie bow tie. I thought this was the way, the only way, and apparently, obviously, and, you know, it isn't. So, um, so how to tie a bow tie. This is a video, check it out. Which one are you? Pre-tie or self-tie, or pre-tie or self-tie? Bow tie, head over to the forum www.coffeebeersandbowties.com. Join the group, join the forum, and I talk to you guys later. Peace.